The final for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here in Pembrey about to get underway. Julian Godfrey starts on pole position with Robert Spittles alongside on the front row as well is Steve Hill. Ready to race board is on the final for round three. Lights out and we go racing. Great start from Hill on the outside. Good from Godfrey. Look at O'Donovan coming through on the inside. Contact as well. Oven it into the back of Vittles. Oh my goodness me. What drama on the first corner. It is going to be Godfrey that leads the way then from Hill. From O'Donovan. From Vittles then. And going joker is Derek Toehill on the first lap. That's crucial for Toehill. He wants to get himself out of the drama and out of the traffic. Steve Hill getting very sideways on the gravel section. And Godfrey has a clear track in front of him there then. I think that incident was all started by Tristan Ovenden, who just was a bit late on the brakes into the first corner. Here comes O'Donovan on the outside then of Hill into the hairpin bend. On the inside comes O'Donovan. Can the number two make it through? Not quite. Vissels comes through on O'Donovan now. Brilliant driving from the Latvian. He's through into third place and trying to challenge now for second at the start of lap two. Wow, what a frenetic start in the final for the supercars. And Vissels up the inside as Steve Hill goes wide. Vissels goes through into second place. This is fantastic racing. Great driving from Robert Vittles. He's really put his bit between his teeth here in the second day of action in the supercars. Bodywork flying everywhere as they come through onto the gravel section. O'Donovan gets it all sideways. Looks like Ovenden and Hill have come to blows into the hairpin bend. Ovenden is going now side by side with Roger Thomas for fourth place in this race, but not able to find his way past. Steve Hill's dropped right back as he was out wide at the hairpin bend here as well. So this is getting very frantic indeed. What a supercar final we are being treated to here at Pembrey, but it's advantage for Julian Godfrey as he leads the way. Vittles in second place, O'Donovan trying to close that gap down to Vittles and trying to invent something coming onto the gravel there. They were so close, but still O'Donovan was not able to find his way past. Going Joker in the background there was Steve Hill. He goes into the Joker, gets himself out of traffic and out of trouble. But into the hairpin bend, the drivers go, and it's now third place for Roger Thomas. My goodness me, how on earth has he ended up there? He's had a shocker of a weekend so far here in Pembrey. And through other people's misfortune, he's been able to inherit third place. And now Ubberton, you can see the bodywork damage on his Citroen DS3, is in fourth position. Well, this is absolutely fantastic, but nothing can be taken away from Julian Godfrey. We're already on lap three of this final, and he is leading the way and has led the way commandingly all weekend behind the wheel of that Ford Fiesta. It might be an older car, but it has not been slow at all. O'Donovan goes joker then, as does Roger Thomas from behind. Where does O'Donovan emerge? It's side by side with Ovenden then into the gravel section we go, and O'Donovan gets ahead. Here comes Sohill on the inside. Can he make it through? Not quite through there, but there's contact between them. This is absolutely amazing racing in the final here in Pembrey for the supercars. What brilliant stuff. Here comes Toehill, down the inside. Contact between him and O'Donovan there. And still Ovenden gets himself ahead. He's able to hold on to the position. Well, Toehill tried every trick in the book to find his way past Ovenden. He wasn't able to make it stick though and has now dropped back. Meanwhile, Vittles goes Joker at the start of lap four. So the Latvian driver's on the Joker, but he's out wide on the Joker. That's cost him time, but he's got clear track in front of him. Now in the background, Ovenden goes Joker there as well. He goes out and comes out behind Roger Thomas. So now sits in P5 in this race. So let's take a moment to take stock. It's now Godfrey from Vittles from the man who sits in third position in this race, which is Tristan Ovenden as it uh, stands right now. Just absolutely fantastic. Sorry, apologies, Roger Thomas, who sits in third position from Tristan Ovenden. Then from Mark Donnelly, the reigning champ, Derek Toehill's out wide, and has just lost a position to Steve Hill at the bottom of the circuit there as well. Now we're on the penultimate lap. Now it's Godfrey who leads the way. Godfrey continues on. He's going to go Joker then, presumably, on that final lap, and he's going to have a tall order to stay ahead of Robert's Vittles though, because Vittles has been driving very impressively, setting fastest lap after fastest lap in this final, and I wonder whether he is going to have enough to overhaul that gap to see if he can come out side by side or indeed ahead of Julian Godfrey. Thomas goes a bit wide into the hairpin bend, behind him is Ovenden with that bodywork damage, coming down the back straight we go into the left-hander at Brooklands, and this is the battle for the final podium position. And it's Ford Fiesta versus Citroen DS3 versus Citroen DS3. On to the start of the final lap we go. Julian Godfrey then 
in the number 20. He's already jokered, he's coming through and he is looking calm, comfortable, cool and indeed collected. Two and a half seconds he is up the road of Robert Spittles then. Brilliant driving from Julian Godfrey, the six time British champion, proving exactly why he is held in such high esteem in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Robert Spittles is going to hold on to second position. O'Donovan looks like he's going to inherit third place. He is going to hold on to third position after his joker, after it's all played out here. But into the final series of corners we go. And across the line, Julian Godfrey wins the final of round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. It's the number 20, Godfrey on top here in Pembrey. Robert Spittles in only his second ever supercar event comes home P2 from O'Donovan. Third place is O'Donovan. Fourth is Thomas, just ahead of Ovenden on the line. Donnelly is fifth and Steve Hill comes home in seventh position. Derek Toehill will come down the line in eighth place there at the chequered flag. But what an absolutely frantic final we've had in round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship here at Pembrey. Julian Godfrey, the six-time British champion, is the winner in Wales.